hello naturals welcome to my channel gifting came here in today's video i'll be showing you how to make your own leave-in conditioner if you are new to this channel kindly hit that subscribe button and i'll see you lovelies in a bit welcome once again so let's get right into the video so the first ingredient we'll be using for this diy is flat seed flat seed is really really good for natural hair it has a lot of benefits flat seed gel contains vitamin b and e also it contains omega-3 fatty acid magnesium and other proteins that can help grow natural hair it contains omega-3 which helps in making hair healthier also flaxseed gel leaves your hair soft shiny and moisturized flaxseed gel is one good conditioner for our hair and it helps in detangling hair easily so i'll take just a quarter cup of the flaxseed i'm not making a lot of this leave-in conditioner next thing you need to do is to boil your flat seed you boil your flat seed and when you realize that there's foam on top of the flat seed then you know that flat seed gel is ready i'm sieving it to get my flat seed gel so this is how i sieve the flat seed gel make sure the gel is cold before you sieve when it's hot you have to be extra careful with it so this is my flashy gel so this is my flashy gel this is what i'll be using for the leave-in conditioner which is my water base for my leave-in conditioner so the next is the oil base so i'm taking two spoon of the shea butter and then a few chunk of my cocoa butter Also, I'm going to add a emulsifier. Emulsifier is going to help mix the oil base and then the water base, which is the flaxseed gel. So I'm adding half, two half teaspoon of the emulsifier wax to this. The next thing I'm adding is my hair growth oil. I have a video on how to make your own hair growth oil. You can kindly check that video out. I have the link in the description box or kindly check the above cards. Also, the, so the next thing now is to melt the oils together. So this is after I've melted the oils together. So I'll add the flaxseed gel to it. So I'll stir very well. So you continue to stir very well and then you keep adding your flaxseed gel to it and then keep stirring. Make sure you stir very well until you get that consistency that you are looking for. So after stirring it for a while, the next thing I'm going to do is add my xanta gum and then my glycerin together. I'm mixing the xanta gum and then the glycerin together. The purpose of the xanta gum and the glycerin is to thicken my leave-in conditioner and then moisturize my leave-in conditioner. The gum is going to thicken the leave-in conditioner and then the glycerin is going to add that moisture to the leave-in conditioner. So I'm going to mix both the xanta gum and then the glycerin together to get a good consistency before I add it to the leave-in conditioner. And then your xanta gum to this. Make sure you mix continuously whilst you add this to your leave-in conditioner to avoid lumps in your leave-in conditioner. So this is after I stirred this for about five minutes. 
you can see how smooth and thick my leave-in conditioner is the next is to add the next is to add the cooling phase which is your essential oils your preservatives your fragrance this is where you add all this to your leave-in conditioner so i'm adding my castor oil to my leave-in conditioner castor oil is also very good it also has the benefit of thickening your hair and also adding moisture i'm also adding vitamin e oil to my leave-in conditioner vitamin e oil is also really really good and it also helps in reducing hair breakage it's also sealing moisture it also prevents your hair from hair damage vitamin e oil is also good as well so but you can add any essential oil of your choice so after adding the essential oil i'm going to use my hand mixer to mix my leave-in conditioner very well to get that consistency that i'm looking for so i keep mixing till i get my desired consistency like i said this is where you add your fragrance and then you add your preservatives preservative i added was german plus preservative so after adding that and then mixing it very well this is the consistency so the next is to transfer this into a very clean and sterilized jar or bottle or container of your choice make sure your your container is really clean and sterilized so my leave-in conditioner is ready you can see the consistency of my leave-in conditioner there's no lumps in it so the next thing is to show you how i apply my leave-in conditioner hello guys so i'm here to apply the kelly cream leave-in conditioner in my hair so this is it uh, this is the consistency of it you can see the consistency of this flash seed leave-in conditioner so i'm going to apply this in all my hair for you to see how smooth and easy this leave-in conditioner makes my hair feel so as you apply your leave-in conditioner you finger detangle your hair as well in the process So that is how my hair, you can see the difference between the applied part and then the parts I've not applied the leave-in conditioner. And you can be using this very good leave-in conditioner guys. My hair feels really, really, really soft. You can see the difference between the part I've applied and the part I've not applied the leave-in conditioner. You can see how smooth this leave-in conditioner makes my hair feel. My hair feels very very soft and moisturized guys this is a very simple diy you can make by yourself if you really enjoyed this video kindly give this video a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section ask a question regards to natural hair stuff like that i'm ready to answer and if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe to this channel i really do appreciate it and i'll see you lovelies in my next video bye